It's National Coming Out Day. In 1990, I came out to my friends and family. For the most part, people were supportive. My family was definitely supportive. I came out to my mother and grandmother before I even came out to my friends. I was, I was sure that they were going to like disown me or really chastise me, but they didn't. They were really supportive. They said that they thought that I might be gay quite a long time before then. I was relieved. Having said that, not everyone took it so well, but thankfully I never had a violent reaction. There were several ways that I brought it up to people. With one friend, I said, Hey, uh, how do you feel about gay people? And he immediately responded with, Well, they're going to burn in hell. Kind of said in an angry way. Yep, good old Ben Smith. And yes, that really was his name. Yes, it doesn't get any more of a generic name than that. But uh, yeah, I never really went to see him or call him after that. I mean, I suppose that's on me. Maybe he wouldn't have stopped being friends with me if he knew that I was gay. But, you know, that whole religious message, I wasn't really prepared at that time to deal with that kind of message because I was still somewhat religious at that point. You know, I was 17. I mean, I was getting out of religion, and my being gay was somewhat what got me out of that religion. But, I mean, I still was dealing with some heavy-duty leftovers from it. So, yeah, I just wasn't willing to deal with someone who was going to shun me based on religious views for being gay. So, yeah, again, that was on me, but uh, just wasn't something I was willing to put up with. So... There's another friend that I had named Steve, and I had first gotten to know him through a BBS. Yes, good old local BBSs. Message boards. This was uh, on the Commodore 64. He went by the handle Red Belly. I went by the handle Bigfoot. Yeah, my coming out to him didn't go so well either. He freaked out, just really, really freaked out, and told me he didn't want to associate with me anymore. So that's the way that went. But, yeah, all my other friends took it pretty well. They may not have been exactly happy, but they were all pretty supportive. So, I was very fortunate. So many other people back in 1990 did not have it as easy as I did. So many people got kicked out of their homes, abandoned, disowned, shunned, you know, put out on the street, and in some cases, beaten. Thankfully, there were gay youth groups here in Tacoma. Well, there was a gay youth group, LGBT youth group. I mean, it's 1990, so I was part of a gay youth group in Tacoma called Oasis, and they were really there to help those in need. They really helped get people the resources they needed if they had been kicked out of their homes. There was a lot of help available. I made a lot of friends there. I don't know how hard it is for someone to come out of the closet in 2020. I mean, for the most part, it would seem that it's a lot easier to come out now than it was in 1990. I mean, LGBT get the backing of most of corporate America. I mean, there's far, far more resources available now, especially online, than there were back in 1990, you know, before the internet <laughs> came into place. But that still doesn't mean it's easy for people to come out of the closet in 2020, especially in certain parts of the country. You know, the Bible Belt is still the Bible Belt, you know? There are people that are trying to label National Coming Out Day as being just a political stunt. It's all about politics, they say, right? That it's all about cramming left-wing ideology down everyone's throats. Well, I'll have to disagree with that notion. Coming out of the closet 
has nothing to do with one's political viewpoints. Whether you were raised in a right-wing religious household has nothing to do with whether you're gay or straight or bi. If you're gay, you're gay. If you're bi, you're bi. If you're straight, you're straight. You don't have to be a liberal to come out of the closet. Now, I'm not saying that LGBT activism in general isn't left-wing in nature. It, it certainly is. Much of it being attached to neo-Marxism and postmodernism and a number of other things. But that's political activism. Coming out of the closet is not a political act. It's personal. A national day affirming people coming out of the closet or people who have come out of the closet is not a political act. It isn't left or right. You have to remember that even in 2020, it's still not that easy to come out of the closet. It's not just about getting attention. It's about tolerance. It's about acceptance. It's about self-acceptance. It's hard to build a decent self-esteem if you think everyone is against you, or at least everyone who you care about, anyway. If you have a friend that comes out of the closet to you, you know, try to be a decent human being. Even if you don't think their sexuality will offer them a good life, still at least try to be supportive. Because one sexuality is not a choice. It's not a preference. It's an orientation. It's part of who someone is. And let me be clear. I am not saying that people should define who they are based solely on their sexual orientation or their gender. That would be extremely bad advice. We are more than our sexuality, but our sexuality is a part of who we are. Just saying. <laughs>